everyone. So I decided to make this mousse, which I found online. And I am going to tag the person's Instagram that I found it on so you guys can try this recipe yourselves. But it was really interesting because it's made with tofu, which I found interesting. And the reason she shared it was because she gets her protein and it's a great way for her to get a snack that has high amounts of protein. And I was like, I love chocolate. And I love protein. <laughs> I'm gonna make this thing. So I'm a few steps ahead. So I'm just gonna break down what I've already done. And granted her recipe had all grams because I believe she's British. So she measured everything in grams. Um, but I transferred it over to ounces and cups. So I'm doing the best that I can. So the very first step is to get chocolate chips. There's so many options for this. You can do Enjoy Life, you can do Lilies. This is just like a dark chip that I found. Hi. Ooh, that sounds delicious. A pie down. So she has you put um, 250 grams, which I did about, so it's about eight ounces really is what it calculates to. And so the bag of chips that I bought is a 10 ounce bag. So I just eyeballed eight ounces, if I'm being extremely honest. So she has you put that in a bowl first. And over the stove, I'm heating, it's supposed to be 325 grams of soy milk, but I did about a cup and a fourth cup. Again, we're eyeballing here because my transferring of grams to ounces isn't perfect. Um, so that's heating and then what's going to happen next is you're going to pour the milk that is warm over the chips and we're going to whisk until it is all dissolved. <laughs> Thank God this was clean. Didn't check that before I started. Um, and then we are going to put that aside and we're going to blend the tofu. Now in her recipe she has you buy soft. In the store, they did not have soft, so I found the softest they could find, which is firm. I usually, when I cook and I'm baking or making meals with them, I use the extra firm because it just has a stronger texture and when you put it in the air fryer, I like how it is more. Um, but this one was actually quite soft, even though it was just one step down from that firm. Um, and that's just different, it's a preference thing when it comes to texture. So we're gonna blend that. Um, and then go from there. So right now I'm just heating milk over the stove. Make sure that it's warm enough so that it can actually melt. Oh yeah, that's definitely warm. All right, so we're gonna turn this off. Bring this over here. Got warm fast. Now I'm just gonna start whisking. So I was just heating the milk on the stove and then I poured it into here and I'm just whisking the chocolate chip snow with that soy milk. So again I decided to make this soy um, mousse dessert treat snack because I saw it from someone on Instagram and it is a great way to get in protein and also taste like a dessert. Um, she didn't put serving sizes, but given the amount of tofu she used, which is a full package, that package is four servings. So my guess is you can make exactly four of these little mousse cups, which I'm going to be using these things to pour into. So I just want to show you the chocolate chips with the milk melted perfectly. It's a soup, which is like a... God, it smells like I want to swim in it. <laughs> Let's be real with you right now. It smells so freaking good. So we're gonna put this aside, um, and then we're gonna blend the tofu just as it is. So here it is. Hopefully this extends this way. And let's do that. Cover your ears. This might be loud. to be blended more but you can see how it's starting to get into a very like creamy like texture it's very very smooth it goes from being 
um, kind of chunky and firm to looking like a cream. That looks like yummy. Yeah, looking cream based, which I'm guessing this is also how you can make sauces and um, cheeses, like vegan cheeses, if you wanted to add this for protein. So I'm just gonna mix it up a little bit more and blend it again. have to kind of move the Santiago calmate o te tienes que ir al cuarto you have to blend it a few times because the chunky parts they kind of get whipped up but man it's looking really smooth I've never actually whipped tofu like this before so this is like a brand whole brand new thing for me um, and then we're gonna add the chocolate chip mixture we just made to this show it to you guys so it looks really creamy and smooth when you're done with it and then we are going to add what we just made which is this chocolate soup into this What I thought was so cool about this recipe too is that you don't have to use like an egg replacement or another thing that you do a lot in vegan recipes is use, you use like the water from chickpeas to make this kind of like, um, I don't know, fluffy texture, but you didn't have to do that with this. You could just do that with the tofu. So poured it in there and now we're gonna blend it and it's gonna turn beautiful. Ooh, there's chocolate right there. Eat that. to get some parts of the tofu that weren't totally mixing in. And yes, for reference, I do use organic, non-GMO tofu always whenever I make anything. All right, so far that's tasting baller and it's missing like half of the ingredients. So like, can't wait. <laughs> you guys it is so perfectly smooth can you guys see that oh my gosh it looks like a pudding so smooth all right so the next step is now we're gonna add the vanilla the cocoa powder and icing sugar which I'm guessing is confectioner sugar that's what you use to make icing so this is pretty cool I actually found this at Walmart it's stevia confectioner sugar so it's not the same it's not sugar it's stevia based but it is super sweet. It is more sweet to me than regular confectioner sugar. So my advice to you would be use like half of the amount. Otherwise, Santiago, suelta. Otherwise, you're going to end up with a super sweet concoction. So she 
does two tablespoons of this icing sugar, so I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna do one and then taste it because I already know how the sugar rolls and it's a lot. Then she does two tablespoons of cocoa powder, so more chocolate <laughs> is going in here. Not yet, Santiago, sit down. Don't climb on the counter, sit down. Then we're going to do two teaspoons of the vanilla. What is this? Okay, cruising right now, and you just blend it again. This is the simplest dessert I think I've ever made. If it really turns out as good as this girl says, taste the mix before I add stuff I always do because you just never know you don't want to over add you can always add extra but you can't take off things you know so all right so let's see what we got here let's taste this Second. All right, that tastes like mousse. I'm gonna scoop it in these cups because I want you guys to see what that looks like. I'm gonna scoop it in front of you guys. Can you guys see this? Yes, sounds good, delicious. So it looks like literal, like pudding. That's what it looks like. Yep. So I'm actually pouring this might actually turn out to be a better idea. Are we gonna eat it now? Is that cup for me? Look at it. It's so pretty. Santiago, siéntate. It's so pretty. All right, now they have to go in the fridge. And she didn't give a specific time for how long in the fridge. She just said a couple of hours which, okay, I'm really impatient, so that might not work for me. But, check them out. They just look like pudding in a cup, okay? Then you can top them. She also has a buttercream, a vegan buttercream topping you can put on them, or I'm using Cocoa Whip when they're done. So I'm gonna photograph them with the Cocoa Whip and I'll make a post about it. And again, I'll share her um, thing from Instagram if you guys want to try this but again I haven't tried the final product so I can't say it's gonna be amazing the batter tastes amazing so my guess is it's gonna be baller um, but I don't know so if you want to try it go ahead watch this video try all things I said and then give me your feedback all right guys bye